Are ready, agents? Excellent. One more thing I would ask that um, we get a, a notification, a sound effect, anytime there is a chat or someone raises their hand. So I just ask that you not uh, use the chat function and you not raise your hand during the presentation so that it doesn't distract the students. Thank you very much. We're excited to do this for you. Hope you enjoy. All right. Without further ado, Miss Science Pride Guys presents Indiana Famous Hoosier. My name is, is Harlan Sanders, otherwise known as Colonel Harlan Sanders. You may know me as being the icon of the best fast food chain, KFC. I was born in I was born in Henrysville, Indiana. My dad died when I was young, causing me to have to look after my young siblings. I went on to attend LaSalle Extension University. At age 65, that's when I moved down to Kentucky and started making some of my best fried chicken. My chicken was amazing. So amazing that the Kentucky governor awarded me the title Colonel. While running KFC, I started to sell it to investor Jack C. Macy. In the middle of 1980, I got diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, I've made a charitable organization to donate to hospitals before my death on December 16, 1980. My, I was buried in Cave Hill Cemetery, and my funeral was attended by more than 1,000 people. Remember, every time you get hungry, come on down to the nearest KFC and have some of my best fried chicken. Hello, I'm Jenna Fisher. When I write my blog, I think of myself at 13 years old back in St. Louis daydreaming about Hollywood. Little did I know I would become a popular actor living in Hollywood in years to come. I was born on March 7, 1974 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Although I was born in Indiana, I was raised in St. Louis, Missouri. I have a mom, a dad, and a sister. After college, I worked as a receptionist at several different places. I have married twice. I have married James Gunn, the brother of my lifelong friend, Sean Gunn. Lee Kirk and I got married on July 3rd, 2010. I have two kids. I have been a guest on 21 TV shows. And and I have acted in 44 movies and TV shows altogether. I am known for acting as Pam Beasley in The Office. I was also a producer in the last season. I'm currently 47 years old and I'm still an actor. I have won two awards but got nominated eight times. I have won I have been nominated for at least one award from 2006 to 2012. I came from being a small and timid child who worked hard to achieve her dreams and became a very famous person. If you work hard, if you follow your dreams and work hard, you can end up in Hollywood too. Hi. Are you waiting to laugh because you're bored? Well, you came to the right comedian because I will inform you about me. Also, you can watch some of my TV shows. My name is Red Skelton, and I was born on July 18, 1913. My father died at three months before my birth, sadly. My three brothers started working at an early age because we didn't have a lot, a lot of money and my dad died. I became fam famous when I trip when I was performing a medicine show. I tripped and tumbled off stage. The crowd bombarded with laughter. I died on September 17, 1997. I was born at my all-time favorite park, Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California. Overall, I am a very funny man in most people's opinions. Good night and God bless you.
time. It's not there anymore. Oh, it's there. Okay. Hi, I'm Jim Davis. You may have heard me from the com my comic, Garfield. I was born July 28, 1945, and my parents were Annie and James Davis. Right now, I am 75 years old and worth $800 million. Um, right now, I am living with my wife, Jill Davis, in Albany, Indiana. Due to a severe case of asthma, I started doodling. And when I was doodling, I made the comic Norm the Nut. When I was done with Norm the Nut, I made a shoe squish him in the comics. I made a theme park ride called Garfield's Nightmare. Even if you have asthma, you can still become the next Jim Davis. Do you know who played Carol Brady on the Brady Bunch? It was me, Mark Simpson. I was born on February 14, 1934, in Dale, Indiana. I was the youngest of 10 children born to a poverty stricken family. My parents were Elizabeth and Joseph Henderson. Two of my siblings were Mary and Pauline Henderson. I went to St. Bernard Elementary School, Owensboro Catholic High School, St. Francis Academy, and the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. I am most famous for being Carol Brady on the Great Bridge. I was also a Today Girl for one year. I married Ira Bernstein in 1956 and had four children, Barbara, Robert, Elizabeth, and Joseph Bernstein. I married John Kappas in 1987. I quit my acting career because of a severe hearing loss and became a hypnotherapist in 2015. I died on November 26, 2016 from heart failure and am buried at Pierce Brothers, Westwood Village, Memorial Park, and Mortuary in Los Angeles, California. I encourage you to be like me and do things in your best and possible. Hello, my name is Fuzzy. Hello, my name is Fuzzy Zeller, and I am a Famous Hoosier who has gotten so many holes in one that even I forgot how many. I was born on December 11th, 1951. Then, when I turned five, I went to a mini golf tournament. Then, way after that, I got married in 1975. Just after that, I went to two tournaments, the U.S. Open and the and the Masters. I won both of them. Just after the, later, I retired, and then my overall dot, my net worth was 10 million. If you have a goal and you keep failing, keep trying until you get it right. I was a perfect example of this. I used to be a fine guy who kept failing to get holes in ones, but then I persevered and achieved my goal. Then I donated to charity and hospitals to help save them. If you want to be like me, you keep trying like Fuzzy did. Are you ready for the flight of your life? I'm Maria Earhart and I'm going to take you on it. You probably know me because I have broken many records. I 
am known all across America and because I attempted to be the first woman to fly across the world. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. I was shy and didn't have many friends. I eventually became a record-breaking aviator, a Purdue teacher, and an inspiration for many people. I founded the 99s, an organization for female pilots. I wrote two books about flying, and I attempted to be the first, and I was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. I died when I attempted to be the first woman to fly across the world. People think me and my partner crashed and drowned. I was declared legally dead 18 months after I disappeared. The exact place I died is one of the greatest mysteries of all time. Oh, you just got done reading Indian Weekly number 21 about the women's right to build moment? Well, I was in one of those paragraphs. Hi, my name is Ida Harper. I was born in Fairfield, Indiana. I graduated from the Indiana University. I am a journalist and suffragette. When I was nearly 20, I wrote this quote. The moment we accept the theory that all women must enter wage earning occupations only when compelled to do so, by poverty, the moment we degrade the labor and lower the status of all women who are, are engaged in it. After I wrote that, I met Susan B. Anthony. Me and Susan were both top suffragettes of the women's right to vote moment. I have won six state awards. I wrote and written over 14 books. I died on March 13th. I died from a brain disease. I am buried on Beach Grove Lane in Muncie, Indiana. Remember to stay organized just like me when I was writing my journals. Hello, I am William Henry Harrison. I'm, if you're interested in politics, I'm the person or president that you need to talk to. I was born on February 9th 1773 in Charles City County in Virginia. I was, born, I was born on a Virginia plantation. Growing up as a boy, I was homeschooled. Later, when I was in college, I went to Hampton Sydney College. After that, I became interested in the Army. After, I served under General Mad Anthony Wayne. After that, I fought in two wars. I fought in the Battle of Tippecanoe, and I fought in the War of 1812. Then, I became interested in politics. I ran for president two times under the Whig Party. At the second time, I won. At my inauguration, I caught a bad case of pneumonia. Later after that, 31 days after, I died of pneumonia, after being the first president to die in office. I, was, I am buried in North Bend, Ohio. I am remembered as a great president and how brave I was during the two wars that I fought. Have you ever heard of a woman whose newspapers and magazines were nationwide? Cause, because now you have. I'm Juliet Strauss. I was born January 7th, 1863. I was, sadly, when I was four years old, my, my father passed away. That was really hard on my mother because women couldn't provide as much as they can today. When I was only a teenager, when I was only a teenager, I was discovered by John H. Beadle, owner of the Rockville Tribune at the time. That was when I started writing the Rockville Tribune. I had incre when I got older, I had an incredibly busy schedule, which included cooking, cleaning, feeding the chickens, canning, helping my friend with their three crying babies, and putting my own children to bed. I also ran a campaign to help save Turkey Run State Park. It was it was a success. You you might even find a statue of me in Turkey Run State Park if you ever go there. I sadly passed away on May twenty second, nineteen eighteen. I was only fifty five years old. I am buried in my hometown, which is Rockville, Indiana. Now I best be going. <laughs>
I've never heard of that person. I'm I'm smarter because I came in here. Hi, I'm Larry Bird, award-winning NBA player. But first, let's start off with my childhood. I was born in December 7th, 1959 in Baden Springs, Indiana. I quickly moved to French Lick, hence the name Hick from French Lick. I, as a child, I played basketball a lot. In college, I, I went to IU for one year and then went to Indiana State University. I was the sixth overall pick in the 1978 draft and was a three-time MVP, Oscar Robertson a tr Trophy winner, and a two-time NBA Finals MVP. I now live in Naples, Florida with my wife. And remember to always keep pushing yourself. This is great NBA player Larry Bird signing off. My name is Johnny Appleseed. I was born on September 26, 1774 in Massachusetts. My education was not from school like others. My education was actually from a orchardist named jo John Ch M M Mr. Crawford and my dad. One fun fact about me is that the MLB team, the Tin Caps, used to be named the Wizards, changed their name to the Tin caps because of me I because I wore a pan on my head see another fun fact about me is that the, that I also planted pear trees not just apple trees I was buried I was buried at in Fort Wayne Indiana at Johnny Appleseed Park I did something that each and every one of you can do and got famous over it planting apple seeds Hi, I'm Bill Pete, and I was a famous Disney illustrator and children's book writer. I was born on January 29th, 1915, and I had two brothers, O.H. and George. I went to school at John Art Institute, which is now a part of Indiana University. I worked on more than five movies in in my Disney career, and one of them was Cinderella. And I've also worked on more than five books in my writing career, and one of those was The Wumps. I died on May 11, 2002, and my final resting place was at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood, California. See you in the world of imagination. <laughs> Hi, my name is Abraham Lincoln. You may know me as the 16th president of the USA. I have many more great accomplishments in my life. A few more facts about me is that I was, I freed the slaves with a speech called the Emancipation Proclamation. I also held the union in the Civil War against the Confederate Army. I was an accomplished wrestler and lost one out of 300 matches. I entered the Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1992. I had three kids and they or four kids and they were Robert, Edward, Willie, and Thomas. I died on I got assassinated on April uh, 15, 1865 at Ford's Theater in Washington, DC. My assassinator was John Wilkes Booth. He killed me because of my political beliefs. I'm my final age was 56 years old, and my final height was six foot four. As a f very famous Hoosier, I did many great things in life, and always remember liberty for all. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to star in movies, sitcoms, and TV shows? Well, I shall align with a single job. 
I started studying comedy and acting to start as, di start as dying chambers from cheers to living in a $1 million condo in the Bay of, Pacific, of the Pacific Ocean. I was born on August 23rd, 1949. My full name is Shelly Long. I went to South High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana and graduated to Northeast University. I married twice and divorced both times. My first husband was Ken Solomon. My second, Bruce Tyson, had a daughter, had a daughter named Juliana who was currently 36 years old. I am 71 years old right now. I'm currently in, I'm currently, wait. I have starred in many sitcoms and movies, and I'm most famous for starring in Stan Chambers and Cheers. I have won a National Forensic Leagues Championship in 1967. I've also won an Emmy Award in, 19, in 1983. Some movies I started were Frazier and The Money Pit. I've also won two global awards for a role in Blue Patches. I am currently living in a $1 million condo on the Bay of Pacific Ocean in West, West Angeles, California. I am not usually seen out, but when I am out, I join the local businesses. I am usually drinking coffee. I am usually drinking coffee or shopping. Overall, I think I would be a great model for those out there who want to be actors. Always mem um, remember my famous quote from Cheers, the TV show. Did you know that if you visualize, you can hold on the phone? Have you heard of a person who's run 1,732 miles in six days with no breaks? Well, I have. I'm Major Taylor. I was born on November 26, 1870 in Indianapolis. I have a big family. I have five sisters and three brothers. I have a wife named Daisy Victoria Morris and a daughter named Sydney. I have broke seven world records, and I am the first African-American athlete to be internationally famous. I died on June 21st, 1932. I was the age of 53. I died of a heart attack. I'm buried in Mount Glenwood Cemetery. Overall, I'm one of the fastest bikers in the world. There are many memorials for me. There's a village named after me. A velodrome is a circular track that a velodrome is a circle track that cyclists ride on with special bikes. I'm lucky these were named after me because there are only 13 in the United States of America. Got a ride. Bye. <laughs> Okay, folks, if we could make sure that our uh, microphones are muted, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Well, pets. Hello, I'm Sheila Tinker. I am one of your local representatives helping people with issues of living with hunger and poverty. I was born on December 20th, 1938 in Indianapolis. Later, I entered Purdue University, earning two master's degrees, one in elementary education, the other in administration and supervision. Then I worked as an elementary teacher for 34 years before becoming an Indiana representative. My husband, Victor Clinton, and I live in Lafayette. We have had great children, Carrie, Kelly, and Kevin. I dress eclectically, always wearing a scarf or necklace. Right now, at age 82, I am still serving my 40-year term in the House of Representatives. Started in 18, 1982, and it ends next year. Overall, I'm a unique person that works hard for the people I love to help. I am a famous teacher. Mm -hmm. 
My young self was fascinated by the toy plane. I wondered how it worked. This is what sparked me and my brother into a career of airplanes. Airplanes help us in so many ways today, from carrying cargo across oceans to transporting people and animals. This is what um, this is what um, made change the world today. I started out life as a priest's son, inspired by a toy plane, invented planes, and person remembered now because of my great achievements. I am Wilbur Wright. I was born on April 16th, 1867. I have I have four siblings that are um, that have lived to adulthood. One of them included my brother, Orville Wright. Um, my father was Milton Wright. My mother was Susan Catherine Carmer. I had six siblings, including the ones that did not live to adulthood. I never went to college, but I attended Central High School for only four years. That was all my schooling. I did the rest at home. I had to drop out of school because of an ice hockey injury. I never married anybody. I was awarded a medal in 1924 by the Society of um, Aeronautics, Aeronautical Engineering in SAE for short. The, the medal was the right medal. Um, I have a monument and it is at um, Woodland Cemetery and Arboretum, Dayton, Ohio. I was also buried at that same place. I died on March, um, I died on March 30th, 1912, and I was 45 years old when I died. I will turn 154 years old um, this year. Um, if you work hard, you can achieve any goal we'd like to. You would like to, and I worked hard and I achieved it. The goal I, I did. Dane Polly here, reporting to you live from Midwest Private Eyes at Burnett Creek Elementary School. For today's newscast, I'm going to be talking about myself. I was born October 31st, 1950, and my original name was Margaret Jane Polly. I went to school at Warren Central High School and major, majored in political science. A few things I'm famous for is my marriage to Gary, my pregnancy, my hair, and a picture of me was found on the Life magazine. I've had many jobs in my lifetime, like being a journalist, author, and TV show host like I'm doing now. I have also won some awards, like the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame Award, the Glamour Woman of the Year Award, and an Emmy for Best Story in a News Magazine. This is Jane Pauley signing off, CBS Sunday News. Hello, my name is Jeff Gordon. I'm 49 years old and I was born in Vallejo, California. I am the 10th most famous race car driver. I have one sister and two kids. Her names are Ella Sophia Gordon and Leo Benjamin Gordon. I am worth $200 billion. I was 15 years old when I moved to Indiana. I did not go to college. I was the youngest person to win a midget race. I drove car 24 and I won the Daytona 500 three times. I retired in 2015 and now I work for NASCAR as an announcer. Thank you for listening to my life story. Our final presentation will be given by Avery. 
And she, uh, I wanted to just let you know that she has been working on her presentation, but she was not able to be here for part of the classroom work. And so she has um, graciously offered to give her presentation with what she has at this time. So Avery, your turn. Hello, my name is Madam C.J. Walker. You may know me as the first self-made black woman millionaire. I was born on December 23rd, 1867. I was born to ex-slaves. I was the last of six children to be born out of slavery. I was orphaned at six, married by 14, and a widow by 20. And I had a two-year-old daughter. When I died, I was officially known as the first self-made black woman millionaire. My right to success began with suffering from hair loss. At the time, there wasn't any black women hair care products. It came to me in a dream to make my own hair product to try to cure my, my hair loss. Her, my product worked, and soon enough, I had started my own business in 1905. By 1910, I had 5,000 people working for me and was earning $7,000 a week. I was a, this was my success, but business was very successful and made me the first ever black woman millionaire. I got myself I got myself a start by giving myself a start and you can do that that too. All right, parents, thank you so much for joining us today. We very much appreciate your time and effort to come join us. Um, we hope you enjoyed our presentations of the different famous Hoosiers. Now there are many, many more famous Hoosiers, and we hope that someday you might see one of our names on the list as well. So maybe one of us will be a famous Hoosier someday as well. Thanks so much for coming. Have a good day. Oh, did you hear that? They said, good job. <laughs> awesome. All right. Good job, guys. Woo, you did it.